Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden, Iris Apple. Can I just tell you, I think you're the coolest person ever, and you're an icon and awesome, and you have a movie made about you by Albert Mazels. Talk to me about seeing this movie made about your life. What could be better? What could be better, right? That's because I'm a 93-year-old cover girl. <laughs> when they were making the movie, Iris, you let them in to every aspect of your life. What was that like? Well, not every aspect. But they were very nice, very unobtrusive. Didn't, you know, weren't pushy. We had a wonderful, wonderful relationship. Albert was the greatest. I really miss him very much. When you look back on your life, when it, when it comes to New York fashion icons, it doesn't get any better than you. Talk to me about looking back and what you've been able to live and achieve. And it's gotta be so cool. Oh, it's hard to talk about it. I mean, it just all happened. It was nothing planned. I've not, never been uh, in the fashion business. It's just been a kind of fun thing with me. I've enjoyed it. I think it's it's interesting and amusing and creative to get dressed up. This was Albert Mazel's last film, obviously. Yes. What would it? What would he have thought uh, if he saw this finished product? And what were his impressions of Iris? Oh, I think he had enormous affection for Iris. I think in many ways they were kindred spirits. They didn't know one another for a really long time. But um, I, I, th I think he was and very proud of the interaction of the finished product and, and the whole process. I think he was grateful and proud of the experience. One of the things I love is outside of fashion, she's not a fashion Twinkie. She's a woman who's accomplished so much in her life. Talk to me about looking at her as a role model for those reasons. I mean, I think what I love about her is that she's never been afraid to sort of stand out on, on the outside. She doesn't you know, comply to any of the sort of regulations of what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what you should say, what you shouldn't say. You know, she's, um, you know, she's sort of a firecracker from the true sense of the word, not, you know, again, from the outside inside. As someone who's built her own incredible legacy in fashion, or is building it, when you look at the legacy that this woman has built, talk to me about that legacy and what she's contributed to the world. I just love that she's so original, and she has her trademark signature thing, and she doesn't follow the trends, she sets the trends, and she's a rule breaker. And we're celebrating <laughs> arguably a god in the industry, I Iris Apfel. Jane June, talk to me about what makes Iris Iris Apfel. Iris is my biological mother, and I'm coming out tonight. Oh, um, really? Yes. Okay. You know, it's time that everyone knows. I mean, you know, she is there's something just so bestoic and strong and striking about this woman. When I first Ooh, met her, we both had on. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like we both had on these really big glasses, and I said, and she looked at me, and I looked at her, and I'm like, I've arrived. I felt like everything that I was, when I was coming up, feeling very eccentric as a young girl, and it felt so wrong. She made it feel so right, and you I'm so thankful daughter. for her. I, I am. Love that. She's biologically my mother. Okay. <laughs> In New York, I mean, when you think of fashion icons, I was telling Iris, there is a video of her Kanye meeting her for the first time, and you see Kanye West almost quivering, to, like out of just pure, like I can't believe I'm meeting Iris Apple. Absolutely. Talk to me, talk to me about her, her influence in New York. I mean, Bergdorf is Iris Apple right now. I know it's totally, and you know it's funny. I just saw her literally a few weeks ago down in Tampa at HSN, and she was on camera. I was about to go on the show right after her, but I was looking at the pieces on the side on the set and just hearing her talk and just the stories and everything that she brings to everything. I mean, she really does. She, it's, it's almost like she's like an encyclopedia of fashion. The incredible thing about her is the identity she created. Yes. Talk to me about someone who's had her own lifelong career in fashion, the legacy of Iris Apfel. You know what the amazing thing is, is like, even if you don't know who she is, the minute you see her, you know she's somebody. I don't know if it's the glasses make such a statement or it's the confidence which she carries herself, but she's always just been such an individual. Being in fashion, she never followed the fashion trends. I love it's that. so amazing. It's so ironic, and that's so Iris. She's her own her own person, and she breaks. There's, there are no rules. She just does what she feels. Which she, I love that about anyone. Even when you, when she dresses, you know, she just is an expression of, of who she is. And she, she's not just a fashion person. She's not just an artist. She's, you know, she was working in the White House. I mean, she was just all over the place. She's really her own person, and I just love that about her. The one thing people don't realize when you think of Iris, she's as opposite from a fashion Twinkie as Correct. it gets. Talk to me about her influence in the fashion world and what she's brought 
can contribute it. I mean, I think that she's everything that fashion is when it's at its finest. It's like, it's a personal expression of uh, a passion you have about art and design. It's a passion you have about presenting yourself, about people you associate with, about things you've learned, about cultures, about cross cultures. I think what is really cool about that, Iris, the coolest thing is that everybody in Manhattan has mini storage except Iris used the Metropolitan Museum of Art as mini storage when they did an exhibition, a retrospective of her style. It was sort of incredible to see. I'm like, I have Manhattan mini storage, Iris has the Costume Institute. You're, you're someone who's become one of New York's premier fashionistas in the entertainment world. Talk to me about the contributions and with the meaning of Iris Apfel. Well, I think we all look up to someone like Iris because she sort of set the bar. You know, how do you how do you be an individual and yet have great style and not sort of be, you know, I mean, it's one thing to go buy a dress. It's, you know, whether it's, you know, $100 or 3000 or whatever. But how do you accessorize it? How do you put it together? How do you make it unique to you? And that's what she's done so brilliantly is she's made her own style, her own fashion. We're here celebrating a fashion god, Iris Apple. I mean, when you think of New York and fashion, that's the name that comes to mind. How cool is she? It's amazing. And, you know, I'm a kid from Texas, a small town. And when I would see photos of her later in my career, when I was able to really appreciate fashion and, and appreciate what it brings to the conversation and really to our lives, that individuality. And it kind of gave me the courage to wear what I want and hence this ensemble that I have on. She really is a strong woman who I think identifies with beauty in a way that's not obvious. And that's what's genius.